We do Science World to allow our customers to meet suppliers, get hands-on with the equipment and the products that they want to buy, to allow them to network with their peers as well. An excellent time for our customers to come and, and learn about science. Today we've had some really interesting conversations. I spoke to a lady who was looking at doing in vitro work, which works really well with our G-Box gel documentation systems. Really busy this morning, yeah, we've had loads of people in. The gamification thing's been really good. Uh, we've seen some people coming over to the stand and using it. Um, and everyone now is more used to using digital things, gets people engaged. We're really reducing the amount of flyers and actual handouts that we're giving. What's really nice is we're using the app to collect what our researchers need and the interests and then we're sending them out per email. Being a family owned German business, uh, sustainability is really high on the agenda within a company like Brought. We have 18,000 products, so when we go and detail products to potential customers, uh, we have quite a lot of apps on iPads and things like that. It's actually quite interesting because yeah. I think I've never really spoken to many suppliers. We just spoke to one and it was like, it yeah. make our life a lot easier than yeah, that. Really, it was really, really helpful yeah. for the future. I'm a medical doctor, um, so the, the lab world is a bit new to me. Um, so I'm really, I'm really just seeing what's on offer as well. And all these different uh, exciting technologies that people are selling. We don't print any more brochures with the agenda or a catalog that shows all suppliers. It's all digitalized. It's all out there on an app. It's all on the internet. So now we have Science World Online. And as a follow-up to you know, attending this show here, you get a link. And we share you know, everything that you have seen here. We did little videos with some uh, suppliers to share you know, what the latest and greatest on their products are. So all of that then being available online, and not only next week, but of course then for weeks and months ahead. You've got the ability to check that whenever you're free. If you couldn't attend the event, you're gonna get everything that you would have got if you had attended the event. Videos on the keynote speakers, the, the key products are on suppliers' stands. I was investigating how a technological revolution is allowing us to unravel some of the mysteries of the mind. So if that wasn't enough, I was also talking about all the new technologies that are coming out of King's College London, for example, have been able to develop this new way of using magnetic resonance imaging to image a baby's brain, a human baby's brain, as it's being uh, kind of built in the womb of a mother. This talk was looking at the history the present and the future of nanotechnology. So the idea that this is a word that didn't exist 45 years ago, but is now changing everything around us. Uh, so we're looking at how that history kind of came about and what were the major leaps in it, what's our current understanding of nanotechnology, and also a bit of future gazing. What are the likely scenarios in the future? The talk I gave was um, LEAF, uh, New Standard in Sustainable Science. And it's just around, uh, yeah, this, this standard leaf that we've written at UCL, uh, which is to try and uh, provide a standard for sustainability in research labs and environments. Isn't it great to be back in science world? Oh, it's amazing. It's always been amazing coming to science That's world. That's my favourite gig. You get people coming on from all over the country, all walks of life in science, talking about the science. It's a day out of the office, it's a water cooler moment, and we get to set things on fire and blow them up as well. Oh yeah, blow everything we see in science. Yeah. What's not to like, eh? It's been fantastic. The kids have come along, super full of energy. They're showing us all the things they've done. So they've created this pledge wall and asked all of the visitors here to, to make pledges on, on how they're going to act themselves to be more sustainable going forward. We've had the opportunity to make a video message around our sustainability goals and also they did a quiz for us that we completed uh, with the bribe of a little cupcake if we did it and the quiz was good. I got about just under 50 percent so that shows me that I've still got room for improvement. We've been giving out uh, reusable water bottles to, to the people who are here which is much better obviously than having sort of you know plastic water bottles so that's great. Uh, using much less paper, so uh, the only piece of paper that we've given out is uh, on the name tag. With all these little things, everything we do, we always think about how can we make it a little bit more sustainable. It's super important, it's something everybody can do. We're innovators. We're Thermo Fisher Scientific. 